got some new toys, sort of. Needed to do some service anyway, so I picked up um, a new chain, which was what needed to be done. And then, from what I understand, you're supposed to do that with the sprockets. So I got two new sprockets, but I decided I would um, I would change the final drive gearing, ah! and I went for a JT sprockets. 46 tooth in the rear, or sorry, 47 tooth in the rear, which is one tooth more than the stock, and a JT Sprocket's 15 tooth in the front, which is one tooth less than the stock. So it should get a lot more torque off the line now. And then I bought a cheaper chain because I couldn't afford the nicer chains and I don't have the tools to install a, r ah, no! Okay, cool, it hit my foot. Don't want to drop these because don't want to damage the teeth before you even get the chance to use it. So um, with the money I saved, I bought this cheap ass chain breaker slash riveter, and so I have it set up for the uh, breaking right now because that's what we're gonna need to do first. And you know I don't need to rivet this one; it's a link chain. This chain was super cheap, so I don't know how long it's gonna last, but it had good reviews. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is remove this. Uh, which is dirty still. I kind of cleaned it already. It was super nasty with like road grime up in here and oil and stuff. Not oil, but like a uh, chain lube. And then, uh, so you'll need to replace this. I mean, pull this off and it can come out. You don't need to take this off. It just kind of, kind of jimmies out. I think I got it like by taking it down like that and twisting it sort of. First I pulled this side out and then pulled it down like that. So, so yeah, it should go. Poink, shoo sort of like that um, and it's only held in by this screw this screw and this screw which with it on the bike would have been like right here right here and then the last one right here so that's the three and you're gonna need to remove this nut right here which I've already done that's why it can spin and the way I did that uh, I used this so I have a breaker bar with a what size socket is this a 32 millimeter socket the same as the one needed for the rear wheel and I got that on there like so put this on here like this and I walked around to the other side the bikes in first gear right now and I literally I put all my weight on this rear brake and I stood up like this and put my knee up here and I grabbed this and I pushed and pulled with this pretty much almost all the way out and, uh, and pulled and it took a bit of force and it popped loose finally so so yeah that's how you can do it you don't need any help really just do it by yourself if you got a center stand I'm gonna leave this on here until I actually plan on replacing it because that way I won't lose this or the washer speaking of which there is a washer on here that you need to um, bend off of the nut to get it to come off so keep that in mind so back here, we need to grind off one of these links because this is a pretty beefy chain. It's like a 530 chain, so we need to grind off one of those links to get it to be easier for the chain breaker to take off. And so I'm going to use this to do that. And I'm just going to flatten one of these pins. I'm going to use this one right here. Well, that was dumb. There we go. See? Benefits of motorcycle equipment. That's pretty much flat. So this has this hole in it right here. This is for the back of the rivet to go into. So. So you'll want to go something like, hold on. There we go, so you wanna go something like this. So yeah, I can feel it's got that link. And then crank this down onto this. Like so, take this into here, 
And I think I just realized what this is for. I think this is meant to be kind of like a handle. Sure as beans. All right, and boom, there she goes. That's all there was to it. So there's the old chain off. Now, like I told you, I already broke this off. You definitely want to do that before you break the chain. Do not break the chain before this is taken off. And then, boom. I think you're supposed to not reuse these, but I am going to. Uh, that is a huge cog compared to the one that's going on here. So I've been using simple clean, simple, I mean simple green, because it won't hurt anything like this rubber seal or anything like that. Get in there and get as much of this crap out of here while you can. No point in continuing to let it just build up in here. Oh, wow, that's bad. There's some nastiness up in her. <sighs> so numbers and letters on the sprocket should always face out when you're putting those on. Oh, you're doing the same. Just not doing something right. There we go. So, there we go. So let's put this on here now, like so. And then, last but not least, this thing goes on with the uh, dimpled side, the divoted or whatever you want to call it, in. So, it should just look like a full nut on the outside. So we want to uh, adjust these, back these adjusters all the way out.
So there we go, numbers and letters facing out again. 47, tooth, super ruckus. 